So this person asked how many eggs are there in each ovary? And that answer is actually really fascinating. And I'm sticking with the clever disguise because it's worked so far. This right here is a normal, healthy ovary. Lots of people have asked to see one. There you go. And this is where it gets weird. The eggs in this ovary have existed since you were five months old. Not five months like out in the world. I mean, since you were an itty bitty little thing that was five months old. At 20 weeks of gestation, you have six to seven million eggs. Which, if you do the math, means at one point there were three generations all kind of bound up in the same body. There was your mom, there was you, and there were the eggs that would eventually become your kids if you have them. While you're in the womb, the process of maturation actually starts. It takes 375 days to move a primordial egg cell into what is called a tertiary egg cell, or tertiary follicle. Maturation does not mean these eggs are actually ready to be fertilized. And literally millions of them are going to be lost before you're born to a process called atresia. At birth, though, it means that each ovary has 1 to 2 million egg cells. 2 to 4 million total. And that process of maturation, the one that takes 375 days, is occurring all the way to puberty. Which means by the time the ovarian and menstrual cycles start, there are only three to 500,000 eggs total. I told you it was weird. A quick recap, while you're in the womb, seven million egg cells. By the time you reach puberty, only three to 500,000 left. Now the big difference here is that after puberty, these eggs are now going to be bathed in the hormones that come from the brain, LH and FSH, and they will mature fully. They will actually divide to where they have only 23 chromosomes each, and they will ovulate. However, this process is also really weird. FSH stimulates multiple follicular cells, but only one will ever be ovulated. Now estimates currently run at a thousand eggs every month are just lost. And by lost, I mean they don't mature and are gradually reabsorbed into the body. They will never become a mature egg. Now, if you're interested in the reproductive mambo, this means that you only have 450 chances in your fertility window, basically, approximately, to pass on your genes to have a child. If you're not interested in the reproductive hullabaloo, it means that you will spend about 3,500 days menstruating. Unless, of course, you use some form of hormonal birth control that can actually stop ovulation and thus stop periods entirely. Or at least give you a break from them. If this is your first time here, I'm Josh. I'm just your friendly neighborhood anatomy teacher. If you're a regular here, thanks for learning with me. And if you have a question, you know what to do.